Hey everybody, Andrew McCaskill here, your resident YouTube career coach. Thanks for joining us for the video again today. And don't forget to subscribe. We're really serious about sharing the inside tips on how to get more fulfillment from your career, how to navigate job searches, and how to set up businesses. So come and join us on that journey. Make sure you subscribe. Now, today, we've got a really important topic to talk to you about, and it's about how you have to become the CEO of your job search. Now, the reason I describe it as being the CEO of your job search is because I have one huge frustration, and that's this. I see people who are really successful, commercial people, business leaders, people who've managed teams, launched products, done awesome things in their work and their life, who then hit the job market and they completely forget who they are. They go passive, they sit back, they aren't using any of their skills on their own job search. That's crazy when you think about it, because they're still that same person. Your job status doesn't define you, your character does. So, how can we set up a bit of a playbook and a structure so that you can become the CEO of your own job search? Well, the best place to start on that is to think about your audience. So think about your next boss. Now, I want you to put some time into almost like a buyer persona exercise where you write down everything about your next boss. Who are they? What kind of company are they gonna be working in? What kind of pain points are they gonna have? What kind of challenges are they struggling with right now that you can solve? And I want you to brainstorm that and write it down, name them, yeah? Could be CEO Sam, yeah? MD Jane, Commercial Director Dave, whatever you end up calling this individual, name them. And then put a picture of them or put an outline of who they are up on the wall on your desk or somewhere in your house so that you can be thinking about them on a daily basis. I want you to have an affair with this person in your mind, to be obsessing about what matters to them and to be constantly making sure that you're creating content, you're writing CVs and making applications that talk directly to the pain that that individual has. That's a great way to start. Once you've done that, to become the CEO of your job search, you're gonna need a go-to-market strategy, right? So this needs to be a multi-channel approach to taking you to market as a candidate. The types of things you wanna be thinking about here is direct marketing. So working out clients or customers or companies that you think, do you know what, I'd really, really like to work for them. It could be due to location or because of the leadership there or the culture, or maybe you're a customer of theirs and you just love the product but nail down kind of 20 companies that you'd love to work for next and get after them directly. Link in with the leaders who are there, send them voice notes via LinkedIn, write to them in the post, like post is an amazing thing. Nobody gets post anymore. Write to them in the post. Find a way to stand out and don't wait for them to advertise. Get after them proactively. That's what a CEO would do. As well as that direct outreach, you're also gonna to wanna to manage your relationship more strategically with recruiters. So recruiters are having you know, record numbers right now, and it's important that you're constantly identifying new recruiters, building partnerships and alliances with them, and really becoming the first person they think of when they take on a project that might be suited to you. So make sure you're a candidate of choice and get a little bit more strategic around how you deal with recruiters. I think if you're working in these kind of activities, you're scheduling your time, and you're probably keeping score in some sort of way, as a CEO would, you're gonna get far, far better results than if you're more passive. So I hope that gives you a lot to think about. That's how you're gonna become the CEO of your job search. And the reason it's so important is that at the mid to senior level, about 80% of jobs are never advertised at all. So if at the moment you're stuck in just applying for roles, I want you to check yourself into job advert rehab to wean yourself off of that activity and to start using those skills that you know you've got and that you've used for other people to your own benefit. Good luck with the search. We wish you all the best and we'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.